Here's a fairly rare American-made radio, the Admiral Y2371. It was built in the late 1960s in the United States. As you can see, it's an AM-FM set. And it's uh, very solidly built. That's real metal there, not chrome painted plastic. And the set even has a uh, metal chassis, which I'll show you later. The set is um, switched over to FM AFC right now. Here's the antenna. The antenna was a little mangled, unfortunately, when I got it, but I, you know, straightened it out as best as I could. This is the volume dial here. And here's the tuning dial. The sound quality on this set is actually uh, very good. Although I had to replace uh, all the electrolytic capacitors until I got to the one that had actually failed. Services. This holiday season, enjoy Duncan's new eggnog latte. Eggnog is a year favorite. Here's the tone dial. Nine three four ninety four eighty. Let's switch it over to AM. Free. Hi, it's Pete and Dave. We're giving you alpha. Yeah, I'm a good leader. Ask around. Go in the lock. The antenna's in the handle. The AM antenna, that is. You can see the, uh, or hear rather, that the sound quality is also very good on AM. This was a uh, quality radio at a time when most of the sets, you know, were junk. And I'm sure it was quite expensive at the time, which is probably why there aren't too many of them around. The back cover is, I think, ABS plastic. Seems pretty sturdy. Just comes off in one piece. Now you probably notice the set has a fair bit of wear on the front. And that's because this set was used uh, seemingly continuously from you know when it was bought. The earliest date on here is uh, 1967, uh, although I think the set was made you know a year or two before that. But I'm not really sure. You can see the dates go all the way up to the uh, mid 1990s. That may have been when uh, one of the audio uh, coupling capacitors failed and caused, you know, the volume to drop to almost nothing. Over here is the RF side of things. You can see these transistors are socketed. In fact, most of the transistors are socketed. There's the uh, audio transistors there. There's one transistor that's soldered in here, but the rest are are all nicely socketed. There's the AM tuning mechanism, and inside this box is the uh, FM tuning mechanism. Tried to hide the new capacitors as best I could, although of course there's one really visible one right there. The set runs on six C batteries, which are in this holder here. Kind of a unique design. Just lift that off and change the batteries. And it 
clips back on to the uh, case of this little metal clip there. These are the labels on the inside of the back cover, just in case anyone's uh, curious. There's a few more markings down here. There's not too much information on the on the internet about this set. Like I said, I think it's uh, fairly rare. But nicely made. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video.